we're excited to announce that HCP Vault Secrets is now in public beta. HCP Vault Secrets reduces secret sprawl by offering a unified view for all of your sensitive data. I'm here in the HashiCorp studio with Schrader, who works at HashiCorp leading the product management team for Vault Workflows. Thanks, thanks so much for being here. Oh, thanks, Jordan, for having me. I am really excited to share about this new SaaS service with you all. So before we cover HCP Vault Secrets, I think it's important to cover the various versions of Vault that are accessible to all the people watching. We have Vault OSS and Vault Enterprise. Both are DIY solutions. However, with Vault Enterprise, we have some additional capabilities that enterprises need, like disaster recovery, multi-tenancy, and additional governance controls. With both of these products, customers have to manage it themselves, which is why on the right-hand side, we have HCP Vault, which is our managed service. Right. Jordan, you briefly touched about HCP Vault. And so I'll outline the difference between HCP Vault and this new service. When it comes to HCP Vault, we offer a single tenant dedicated cluster, and it's targeted for multiple use cases in addition to secrets management. For example, PKI, advanced data protection, etc. These features are typically for platform teams that offer Vault as a service to their internal customers. Now, in terms of getting started with HCP Vault, the Vault admins would still have to create the Vault clusters and do some basic networking configuration. Now let's talk about HCP Vault secrets, right? What we heard from developers was that they needed a quick and simple way to manage and centralize their secrets, but needed to be able to do so using existing developer workflows. So we built HCP Vault secrets as a fully managed SaaS service. Our goal is to provide a simple and secure solution for secrets lifecycle management. As a developer, you do not have to set up any config. You just populate your secrets in HVS and just get going. Yeah, it's great to see that HCP Vault Secrets helps teams simplify secrets management. Because when it comes to secrets management and the landscape, there's many different factors to consider and many different challenges. Exactly. There's typically a trade-off between development agility versus secure first approach. What we have seen is development teams set up static secrets since they want to deploy quickly, but they're not thinking about secrets rotation. And additionally, development teams deploy their apps on multiple infrastructures and use different tool chains, which results in secrets getting stored on multiple systems. Now, the net result is that this creates a secrets sprawl. Let me give you another example of a secrets sprawl, right? Uh, is when developers integrate multiple SaaS services for their application such as Twilio for payment API, Stripe, etc. Each of these services require secrets to manage and they can live in different places. We have seen teams implement multiple secrets managers. And the challenge is that now you don't have a single point of visibility and control to manage all your secrets. So to address the secret sprawl issue that all these organizations face, your team is announcing the public beta of HCP Vault Secrets. Yes, that's right. So this new service is built on the HashiCorp cloud platform, what we call as HCP, that already hosts multiple other HashiCorp services in production. So the platform itself is production ready, right? It's a, as I said, it's a SaaS service managed by HashiCorp. I'm sure app developers will appreciate the UX. And what I mean by that is, if you see the right side of the figure, the data model uh, is simple. Developers can just create one or more app resources and start populating their secrets and name their versions. After that, they can create and access, or sorry, they can access these secrets via CLI, UI, or Terraform. Out of the box, we are supporting integrations with AWS Secrets Manager to sync the secrets in HVS with AWS Secrets Manager. Enterprises that are already using AWS Secrets Manager can continue to do that with HCP Vault Secrets. The advantage is that now they can get better centralized visibility and control. You know, we have more integrations to come during the beta period, so stay tuned. So I think we'd all love to see a demo of HCP Vault Secrets working in action. Could you show us what it looks like? Yeah, sure, yeah, let's do it. So let's say as a developer, right, I'm working on a Slackbot app to publish messages. As you can see here, I have the app, but I've done something wrong. I have put the Slack app bot token in the code. At a minimum, I should add these token values as environment variables, right? So now let's see how I can use HCP Vault Secrets to securely deploy the app with a simple workflow. 
I go to the HCP portal. I have created my account. I clicked on, I click on the Vault Secrets. That's in beta right now, as it's shown. Going to the overview page. I'm gonna go create an app object, as I said. So let me give it a name. Uh, let's do it. Okay. And then now I can start adding my secrets. So I'm going to add my Slack token. Give it a minute. Okay, the token is ready. Next is the URL. So this is the name I'll use to reference my secret in the application. Now, I have already installed the vault, uh, uh, HashiCorp Vault Secret CLI. Uh, I'm using the login command to, you know, authenticate with the uh, HashiCorp Vault Secrets, HCP Vault Secrets. With the secrets command, I can see all the secrets created. And uh, next, I will get the secrets into my app from the CLI by embedding similar commands that I used to run my app. There you go. So with this command, I'm able to quickly inject my secrets into my app, right? So, oh, the app is working. And importantly, without any hard-coded secrets. Let me give you another scenario. Let's say that uh, I have deployed my application. I want to deploy my application in AWS. And, uh, and, and uh, I wanted to use AWS Secrets Manager. So here I have a Terraform that deploys all my app as well as AWS Secrets Manager and also the IAM role that will allow HCP Vault Secrets to sync with my AWS Secrets Manager. Yeah, so the Terraform is run. Now let me go back and show you how this integration with a Secrets Manager works. I click on Integrations, select the Install. Along with a bunch of inputs, I have to add the role ARN, which will allow the HCP Vault Secrets to talk to uh, AWS Secrets Manager in your account. There you go, I'm copying the role ARN from my Terraform output. Selecting the region, and that is it. Now, if I go to my AWS Secrets Manager, I should be able to see my token. There you go. So, next, if I come and update this value, this will get reflected in my AWS Secrets Manager. When I update my token value, as you can see, they will automatically get updated in the AWS Secrets Manager side. And as we have seen, HCP Vault Secrets enables developers and DevOps teams to centrally manage their secrets. Well, that demo was really easy to follow and it's really great to see how easy to use HCP Vault Secrets is. So for all the developers out there that want to get started and try it out today, where should they go to learn more? Well, all you have to do is uh, use the URL in the screen and create an HCP account. Then find the HCP Vault Secrets in the navigation menu and uh, just click on it to get started. Great. Well, that's easy enough, Schrader. Thank you so much for coming in and showing off HCP Vault Secrets. My pleasure, Jordan. It's great being here.